for a moment to think through why Solomon was doing all these things. The so-called wisest and arguably the richest king who have ever existed, what is driving him to cheer himself with wine, acquiring slaves, undertake great projects, deny his eyes nothing? He does everything he could. What, what is he going for, actually? Now, the simple answer is he's trying to make his heart happy so as to seek meaning from there. So have you found it? <laughs> now, have you found it? Look at verse 11. Verse 11 says, Yet when I survey all that my hands had done, and what I had toiled to achieve, everything was meaningless. The chasing after the wind, nothing was gained under the sun. So he didn't find it. It's still meaningless. Now, you know, about this neurologist, Sigmund Freud, the famous neuro uh, neurologist, and he believed uh, that human beings has the will to pleasure. Human beings, by nature, they seek greater pleasure. They want better food, better enjoyment, better sex. There is an instinctive will to pleasure and more pleasure. That's what Sigmund Freud believed. And then there is another uh, psychologist from Austria also, um, Alfred um, Adler. And what he says is he believes that human being has the will to power. And that's why you see throughout history, nations have been conquering each other. It seems that the, the crave for power is instinctive. But I think as what the Bible says is actually the case, human being has the will to meaning. God created human being with a purpose, with a higher meaning that comes from glorifying Him, dwelling with Him, and living like Him. It is only then we could realize the whole point of our existence. But when we have lost such meaning, we crave for power, we crave for pleasure, thinking that could buy us meaning. But actually, it's meaning we are after. So let's, let's come back to Solomon. Now, you come back to Solomon, you see, as much as Solomon wants to find meaning, why couldn't he find it? The answer is in verse 1. Now, go back to the verse. Verse 1. Now, what did he, what did he do? He said, I thought in my heart, Come now, I will test you. I will test the heart with pleasure to find out what is good. Now look at this. The reason why Solomon couldn't find meaning in his life was because he is using the sense of his heart to seek meaning. Now you ask ourselves, how many a times have we used the sense of our heart to find meaning? There are many a times... People come and tell me, say, Pastor, I don't feel there is any meaning in my life. No. So some people, they feel lonely, so they look for relationship. Some people feel they are lacking, they're not doing well in life, so they, they want to be an entrepreneur and say, no, I want to do something great. You know, they look at what others are doing, and then they feel they're not doing that well. So they go for this, and they go for that, buy that car, buy that house, and... Um, do whatever you can uh, to find satisfaction, but they don't get it. Why? Because they're looking for these things with their heart. Now, you see, we have trust our heart so much. But the problem is, we have a fallen heart. We have a fallen heart, a heart that is deceiving. Yes, our heart tells us certain things that is true. Our heart tells us that we are not satisfied. Our heart could tell us, it's an indicator to tell us that there is no meaning. But what is meaning, our heart cannot tell us. You get what I'm trying to say? Because the heart is fallen. It's separated from the one who gives meaning, who creates meaning. You get what I mean? So your heart knows there's no meaning. But what is meaning? You don't know, so you go around trying to find out. But the truth of God tells you that how you were created, how you have fallen into sins, and how you were redeemed. 
So from here, you must get a whole new understanding of your Creator and yourself, and having a relationship with Him will find you meaning. You get what I mean? And that is why Solomon, in his pursuit of meaning, finally he found it at the end, okay? So if you turn to the end of Ecclesiastes chapter 12, at the end, he found, finally found it. After pursuing everything under the sun, this is the conclusion he gets. Chapter 12, verse 13, Now all has been heard. Here is the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Read together. For God will bring every deed into judgment, including every hidden thing, whether it is good or evil. Now, two words caught me here in this verse. Number one, commandment. Okay? Commandment. Number two, judgment. God will bring everything into judgment, whether good or evil. Now, listen. The commandment of God will tell you what you are created for. The judgment of God will tell you what you are destined for. <laughs> 